what's changed from pre lockdown to now like when you open your doors what what kind of precautions are now going to be in place that weren't originally there so a lot of changes right like one of the biggest ones now is um uh, uh, a lot of people are asking me like um uh, is it going to be physical drills only or we're going to do contact sport we're going to do contact sport we're not going to do physical drills only Oh, no, but it's the guideline of the government. No, the guideline of the government is to reduce the crowd and to apply social distance. Oh, I'm going to do that. But I guess with the, the with, I guess with the physical distancing uh, or social distancing, physical contact kind of does go against social distancing, right? 100%. But uh, how I'm going to reduce the, 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 we got to reduce it, right? We got to reduce as much as possible. So, and a lot of things are double uh, standards, right? So, for example, my business has been closed for three months, but there was 11,000 people on the streets in Brisbane protesting, um, you know, hugging each other and jumping and putting each other on their shoulders. Um, I think the protest has a beautiful reason behind all the scenes. But at the same time, oh boy, it doesn't make sense to me. What is my one of the measures that I'm going to apply here to reduce it? I'm marking the mats. I'm making uh, square areas on the mats. When I line up the students, I'm gonna designate a training partner for that for that student. So the student is gonna have the same training partner for the session, or if possible, for the week. So uh, that way, I'm minimizing the, the 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 contact of that student with all the students as much as possible. Um, we're not letting the students to use the restrooms, bubblers, or uh, the kids' room. We're not allowing spectators. We're not going to let the parents to sit and watch the classes. I'm going to have a, a, a girl here that's going to work for us at the reception. When the student gets to the door, we're going to take fever. We're going to clean the hands. And we're going to guide this student straight on the mats. Uh, and the kids we we drop off only so the parents drop the kids off go home after the class they come and pick the kids up from jiu jitsu so i'm doing everything that i can to respect the social distance guidelines um however i do believe that it's impossible to train jiu jitsu um without uh contact i think it loses the magic of the sport okay um i really believe that it loses the magic of the sport and the way to minimize it will be limiting the amount of contact that the student will have during the class. Instead of having contact, close contact with 10 people, he's gonna have with one. 